Okay, I'm going to explain how to set up your aux sends for a reverb. So we need to be able to see our sends section and our insert section. If it's not visible right here already, go to this little button in the corner, pick sends A to E, that makes this visible, and choose inserts A to E. So the inserts are where you put your plugins, like this EQ, for example. And the sends are how you send part of your signal from one track to another. So in this example with Reverb, we need to first make an aux track. So you go track, new, make it stereo, and choose aux. So here, in the insert section where you put your plugins, click on the top box there, Go to reverb and pick a reverb. Any one will work for this example. Set the input on the reverb track to be bus one and two. The difference between the bus and the interface, the interface is how you send signals in and out of Pro Tools outside of the computer. So these are like your physical plugs in and out of your in interface. The bus is how you route something internally from one track to another. So we'll say bus one and two. And then we want, on this guitar track, we want to send, this is the send section, part of our signal to that bus one and two so it gets affected by the reverb. So we make a send for bus one and two. And right now we would just, if we wanted to make an adjustment to this, we'd have to click on it and make an adjustment to the send over here. A very nice way to do it is to go to View, Sends A to E, and instead of assignments, you can have up to five different uh, sends on this one track. Change it to just Send A, and we get this nice little fader right here. And then if we hold down the Option button while we do it to one of the other tracks, it will do it to every track. So now we have a way to send some of the signal to the reverb on every single track. And now because this is soloed, we want to uh, solo isolate the aux. We want this to basically be always soloed. So if you hold down the command key, you can see that grays at the solo button out. So it essentially treats it as though it's always soloed. So now if we play this guitar, <laughs> That's it with no reverb, just dry. If we start raising this fader up, you'll be able to hear us sending the signal out bus one and two, then in bus one and two here on this track, and then through this reverb. And then now we can send any one of these tracks of all these different instruments to that same reverb. There's never really a reason to ever put a reverb directly on your audio track. Um, it would quickly bog down your computer if you tried to put one on every track. 99% um, of the time, it makes more sense. Just put the reverb on an aux, set it up like this, and send part of the signal from each instrument you want reverb on to the aux track.